Hi all, hope you're well. Um, yep, I've got a big change in the way I do my painting and modelling. But before, while I was ordering all my stores, um, I had a figure to finish. And this is a Byzantine uh, warlord. And I was particularly pleased with the, the white um, robe that he's wearing. And I managed to use, um, I blended basically from a light grey down to a white and it worked well. Okay, so this video is really all about trying to change a mindset on how I model my figures. See other guys producing figures at a tremendous rate and I am very, very slow. I've heard all about these contrast paints, so I thought, gotta do it. So I went out and bought all these paints. Whilst waiting for my stores to arrive, I went into my box of bits, found these figures that I've been given from shows, um, undercoated the two on the outside in a light grey and the one in the middle in a skeleton bone. And the reason why is because it's got more skin exposed and I thought it might be a better undercoat. The one in the middle uh, with all the skin exposed was the one I was interested in um, because with my goals that there's going to be lots of naked uh, figures, but this turned out really bad. I undercoated and painted this three times and each time it just didn't look right. It looked like some old bird applied too much fake tan and just come back from Menorca and it just, <laughs> you know, you see the look and you know it's wrong on every level. In the end, just not to waste the figure, I, um, I repainted that figure a fourth time in, the, in my old school manner just so it wasn't wasted. The figures on the left and the right, I used contrast paints on and they've come out okay. The, the three foot rule applies, I suppose. But again, I don't know. Uh, I'm not convinced they're right. One of the reasons why I, I thought I'd try these contrast paints, I saw a guy called Ken painting a Gaelic figure and he painted a figure solely with contrast paints in 10 minutes. And I thought, this is great. And this is how I can produce a large army very quickly. Obviously all the fleshy parts. I, to be quite, I like to be, personally, I like to be quite generous with the Gilliman flesh. I don't mind giving it two coats. As he says, he, he likes to be quite generous with the paint. And if you look at the, the tip of his brush, it's quite loaded. Um, and he said he was two coats. When I did that with that, uh, that figure, and it just went so wrong. Um, Council from Wayne, a guy I war game against a lot, and he is a great painter and he uses contrast paints. And he sent me a quick video of how he does it. He does it slightly differently. Um, have a look at this. Again, doesn't matter that I'm going over the beard because I'm going to go over that with a darker colour later. Just a bit, of, bit more under the neck because it would be a bit darker there. Wayne seemed to be using a, a smaller brush. His brush wasn't as loaded um, as Ken's, and the results are fantastic, as you agree. Um, 
he also seemed to be not not letting it pull as much and almost drawing the paint from area to area. Um, the, the problem I'm going to have is obviously I'm painting figures that are from, naked from the waist up, not just a small face area. Okay, so my stores have arrived, uh, as you can see now. So I've now assembled 12 figures, uh, undercoated them in, in white. Uh, let the battle commence. Contrast paints, here we come. Said I'm trying to speed everything I do, and that is including my basing as well. Um, originally, normally what I do is I would uh, cover them in sort of uh, putty and then uh, put grit on them, a bit like this. So I bought some some new <laughs> you find it at the bottom of a bird cage, uh, black wash, grey, dry brush, brown, dry brush. But uh, I don't know. Option B. Is, is, is this. Basically I bought some of this uh, all-encompassing flock with stones in and all you do is you, with the figure stuck on the base, you just cover it in PVA glue and just put this down straight on top of it. And this is option C. Um, it's like a brown putty that you can apply straight. It sets rock hard, apply it to the base and you could just leave it like that or, or possibly dry brush it with a skeleton or a very light tan and maybe I could put some of the, I could even try and maybe scatter some of the bird bottom of the bird uh, cage stuff and and even some of that flock on it with the stones on I don't know I really don't know what to do at the moment time will tell I do I need to get quicker for this Gallic ball band and that's that's my plan and whether I stick with it and go back to my old ways after or maybe I can learn some bits and pieces in the way I do my modeling time will tell Anyway, hope you're all well, stay safe and see you soon.